Normally, the coronary arteries supply blood and oxygen to the heart muscle. In a patient with coronary artery disease, however, atherosclerotic plaque can build up. If too much plaque accumulates, one or more arteries can become blocked, which can prevent oxygen from reaching the heart. This can cause tissue damage and possibly death. To improve blood flow to the heart, a patient may have a coronary artery bypass graft, or cabbage, of the blocked arteries. In the traditional open heart form of the surgery, a 6 to 8 inch incision is made in the middle of the chest. Then the sternum is cut through and the rib cage is moved to examine the heart. Next, one or more healthy graft vessels are selected for the bypass. Commonly used vessels are the internal thoracic or mammary artery in the chest and the saphenous vein in the leg. Alternatively, an arm or wrist artery may be used. Next, the heart is cooled to keep it still using a heart-lung bypass machine and is connected using plastic tubes. One tube carries blood from the body to the bypass machine, which supplies it with oxygen. The other tube pumps the oxygenated blood back to the body. In essence, the blood bypasses the heart and lungs to get to the rest of the body. Now the grafting can begin. The distal end of the internal thoracic artery is dissected and attached to the left anterior descending artery below the blockage. Then sutures are placed at one end of the saphenous vein to the aorta and the other end to the right coronary artery below the blockage. When the graft is in place, electrical signals are used to restore the heartbeat. Then, the patient is disconnected from the heart-lung bypass machine. Finally, the sternum is wired together and the incision is closed with sutures. Instead of the traditional cabbage procedure, a patient may also undergo one of two alternative procedures, off-pump or beating heart cabbage and minimally invasive bypass surgery. In off-pump or beating heart cabbage, a mechanical device is used to steady the part of the heart where the grafting occurs. In minimally invasive bypass surgery, specially designed instruments are inserted through small incisions in the chest rather than opening the rib cage as in traditional cabbage surgery. All types of coronary artery bypass graft surgery allow freshly oxygenated blood to bypass the blockage and reach the distal heart muscle. Thank you.